Hey, it's Marla, and I was looking at YouTube videos this weekend on some crafting projects, and I came across a t-shirt video that I had never seen this technique used before. It's called Discharge Tie-Dye, and I thought I would do a couple shirts, and I did, and they turned out really cute, and I'm gonna do a couple more, so I thought I'd let you follow along with me while I do the shirts. And I really liked um, this particular project because it didn't really require me to purchase a lot of things. I already had the t-shirts, I already had the spray bottle, I already had the bleach, I already had a bucket, I already had a hose with water, and um, the only thing I think I needed to get were some just three-dimensional uh, sticker embellishments, which I'll show you. But I got those at Hobby Lobby, so they were really cheap to get. And that was about it. Um, I'm just going to give a PSA public service announcement that says, because I'm working with bleach, it is very caustic and dangerous. And don't do this at home. Um, just follow along with me and kind of watch me do it. And then you decide if it's something that you would like to do or not. But I kind of had to say that because it, um, bleach is really dangerous and you have to be really careful and you have to work with it in a very ventilated area. Uh, all the technique that I did use for this was done outside with no wind. I didn't use a respirator because I'm not planning on making this a business. I just kind of wanted to work on some shirts that some of my shirts actually had a little bit of stains in them so it was a perfect thing to work on these t-shirts with so follow along with me i hope you enjoy the video bye bye all right it's finally stopped raining it's like monsoon season here so i'm able to get outside and film this video these are some of the things that i used in the video number one i had this old box that some dishes were sent to me a while ago and I just kind of saved these boxes in case I need them. So this just is an old box that's, you know, it's fairly big with a flat surface, but anything that you can use that's a flat surface, and obviously I'm outside, so because of the bleach, I don't want to breathe any of that stuff in, so I'm out getting a lot of ventilation out here. Next, I have here a big bucket for soaking my shirts in. Once I do the discharge method, I have work gloves that are rubber gloves that are chemical resistant gloves specifically for resistance to chemicals which is really important because I'm going to be touching the shirts that have the bleach on. I had this, I got this little spray bottle a while ago. It was just an empty spray bottle I got at my local grocery store. I actually mark bleach on it so nobody accidentally picks it up and uses it for anything else. And the other thing I like about it is, I don't know if you can see but it has, it, it's graduated on the side and marked with ounces. That way I can just easily measure. I need a 50-50 measurement of water with Clorox. And I'll just show you the Clorox I use also. And finally, what you're also going to need are just some t-shirts. And this, all these t-shirts I either got at Target or Walmart. I've had this one forever. This is actually a Faded Glory t-shirt. And the ones that seem to work the best are either ones that are 100% uh, cotton or, I don't think you can see this, this one is 95% cotton mixed with 5% spandex. That seems to work really well too. All you have to do is get a plain t-shirt. This is kind of a starting t-shirt I started out with. And then what you do is you can either make a design on here with some stencils and then put it on top of the shirt or what I find is super easy and let me show you. I have this pink t-shirt that I decorated with these very cool, these are actually 3D stickers that I got at my Hobby Lobby shop. There's a bunch of lips and X's and O's and hearts and I just kind of decorated the shirt down the sleeve with that and then part of the front of the shirt I decorated all the way down the side down here with hearts at the bottom too and some lips and then just on the corner up here I just put XOXO and then if you flip it on the back of it I just put a little XOXO on the back at the top. Here's another shirt that I'm going to be working on that I thought was really cool. I decorated this shirt all with three-dimensional crosses and of course, you cannot do a discharge tie-dye or tie-dye anything without doing a shirt with peace signs on it. So I found these peace sign stickers. They were on sale, I think, for like $1.50 at Hobby Lobby. And I put them all over 
this shirt all the way down to the bottom. And finally, I decided to throw in one holiday shirt. <sighs> As you can see, I'm making a little Christmas shirt and I have a Christmas tree right there in the middle and a little bell there and a candy cane and a little Christmas ball, two Christmas balls on the side. Okay, I am ready to go. What I did was I took a box cutter and I cut down the sides of the box so I could get a totally flat surface. And I think I'm gonna use my piece shirt first with the peace signs on and I have everything ready to go. I have my shirt laid on the box. I have my mixture of bleach which is which is just regular old Clorox bleach and I mixed a mixture of half and half. Half Clorox ble bleach with half water and then I put it into that spray container and I have a bucket of water ready to go when I'm finished. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this shirt is I'm gonna kind of twirl and scrunch it a little bit without messing up my peace sign. So hopefully you can see me doing this because this is tough because I'm trying to film this and spray it <laughs> with my bleach all at the same time. And I'm wearing like waterproof shoes and old clothes just in case I get anything on me. But see, I'm trying to leave the peace signs kind of visible. I'm trying to squirt, squirt, squirt around. Is that a word? Squirch? Kind of twist around everything else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my mixture of bleach, half water, half bleach, shake it up a little bit so it's all mixed up. And then I'm just going to start spraying on this. And obviously everything again is done outside. I don't suggest anybody do this at home by themselves. And definitely no children should be doing this because of the bleach is so caustic, but that's kind of my PSA. So what I'm gonna do now is just start spraying all over my shirt. There we go, with the mixture, making sure I kind of get, whoa, this is tough because I'm spraying and filming at the same time. Okay, luckily there's no wind out right now. So that's pretty good, I got it fairly decent. It doesn't have to be super, super saturated. So right now I'm just going to let that sit just for a little bit so I can start until I start seeing some of the color changing on the shirt just a touch. I'm going to leave all those stickers on for now. And then I'm actually going to flip the shirt over so the back is facing up. All right, here's the back of the shirt and I'm going to do the same scrunching kind of twisting method here just haphazardly with my gloves, always wearing my gloves, and just twist the shirt around a little bit like that. Shake up the bleach a little bit and squirt the back of the shirt. Same way I squirted the front of the shirt and I'm gonna let that sit just for a minute or so. All right, I flipped the shirt back over again and I don't know if you can see, but you can already see where the bleach is already starting to take effect and starting to lighten certain areas of the shirt. And I made sure that when I did squirt this shirt that I got kind of the bleach mixture around all these little piece signs. So hopefully they will all come out really well. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is, now that I can actually see the shirt kind of bleaching out, I'm gonna take my glove and I'm gonna pick off all of these stickers that I have on the shirt. And then as soon as I pick these all off, I'm gonna take the shirt and put it in a bucket of water that I have waiting. So let me pick off all of these piece stickers and then I'll show you what the shirt looks like before I stick it in the bucket of water. All right, I took off all the piece stickers that were originally on the shirt and let me zoom in here. If you can see, you can see where the shirt is changing color, but in the midst of all that color, you can actually see all the peace signs all over the shirt. And I'm gonna take this shirt and just place it in a bucket of water that I have waiting here. And for right now, I'm just gonna leave this in here while I finish the rest of the shirts, but I am going to rinse and rinse and rinse this. And then actually I'm gonna hang it on my hose thingamajiggy. Is that the word for that thingamajiggy? I'm gonna hang the shirt actually on that, take the hose and really hose the shirt down to try to get as much of the bleach mixture out of the shirt before I do the final couple of steps. My final step was to really, really, really wash off all these shirts really well with a hose. I have them soaking right now in a mixture of half water, half vinegar, I had to be really careful with that. Even though I know most of the bleach is off the shirts, it's there's a chemical reaction that occurs with bleach and vinegar that gives off very bad fumes. And 
I just had to be obviously very careful. That's why I'm outside doing all this. But I'm going to let that soak for two to four hours. And then I'm going to take all those shirts out. I'm going to put them in my washer with detergent separately and wash them together to get any remaining bleach out of them. And even once I'm done soaking them in here, I'm going to hose them off again to get as much of the vinegar and water off. And I'll put them in the dryer and they'll be ready to wear. All right, my shirts are all done. I just took them out of the dryer and this is my first one, my amazingly purple peace shirt. I really love the way the cross shirt came out. It almost looks like I have a cross necklace here and I'm gonna back up a little bit and I have the cross here and if I come all the way down, I have crosses all down my shirt. So I absolutely love the way this one turned out. It almost looks like I have this very subtle cross necklace on my shirt. My quasi Christmas shirt actually turned out better than I thought. I'm not a typical Christmas shirt kind of person. So this one I could almost wear really all year round because it doesn't look like a typical Christmas shirt. But I thought this little tree kind of sitting here all by itself in the middle of my chest is really cool. And you can still see some of the somewhat ornaments hanging down there. but. Not a true Christmas shirt. And I really kind of like the way I also got kind of a blue color in here that ended up, I think, coming off of the uh, little three-dimensional sticker I had. So in all in all, it turned out to be a really adorable shirt. I wasn't able to put my lip shirt on. My friend actually came by when I was doing the shirts and she loved my little kiss lip shirt so much with the X's and O's. I gave it to her. So I'm going to probably have to do another one of those again and then I will post it on my blog. Hope you enjoyed the little video I did on my shirts and I really appreciate you coming along with me to watch. Bye-bye.